Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to overload the special function call operator in C++. So when you overload the function call operator, you know, which is denoted by the symbol, the opening parenthesis and closing parenthesis, you know, which is normally used to pass the parameters to the functions. For example, here you guys can see in this main function, we have this function call operator. So in our program, when we overload the function call operator, we're not creating a new way to call a function. Rather, we are creating an operator function that can be passed an arbitrary number of parameters. For example, let's say if we overload the operator void operator and then uh, if we have two parameters, let's say int x and int y and then you know we are not creating a new way to call a function but we are just creating a operator function you know which takes this number of parameters so here we can create an object of that class you know where we overload this operator for example let's say we have the object obj and we have overloaded this function call operator in the class from where this object is created at that time if we use this function call operator and pass two values 55 at that time you know this operator function will be called this 22 will be copied to this x and 55 will be copied to this y so we are not creating a new way to call a function rather we are creating an operator function that's it so here just for the demonstration purpose in this tutorial i have already created a class you know just to save the typing time so we have a class called marks and we have one parameter or the one member called mark and we have a constructor which is going to take one parameter and it's going to initialize our mark member and then we have a public method called what's your mark you know it's just going to print out the value stored in this member mark and then we're going to overload our function call operator so here in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose our function call operator is going to return an object of this class marks and that's why the return type is going to be marks and then the keyword operator and then we need to specify the symbols that is opening and closing parenthesis and then a pair of opening and closing parenthesis here in the second pair of parentheses we are defining the parameters let's say our function call operator is going to take one parameter let's say int and um, mk for marks and also since this function call operator is a special operator available in c++ you know we can't use a friend function to define it and also this operator function must be a non-static member function of this class so here inside this operator function what we're gonna do is we're gonna assign the value that we received to this parameter mk to this mark so that's why it's gonna be mark equal to mk and then uh, we're gonna return the current object and we can get that by referring to this star and this because you know this pointer points to the current object and when we use value it with that pointer you know we'll get the object all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create an object of this class marks in my main function so it's gonna be marks and let's say anil's mark and uh, we can pass the value let's say 85 and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna call our what's your mark method so it's gonna be anil's mark dot what's your mark and then we're gonna use the overloaded function call operator and uh, we're gonna pass some values to do that i'm gonna write the object name which is anil's mark and then the function call operator and let's say a value of 44 so here uh, don't get confused between this constructor call here and this operator function call here so when we create an object at that time you know the constructor will be called here in the second time you know when we use that you know the operator function will be called so just to demonstrate that here in my inside my constructor i'm going to use a c out statement and i just going to say constructor is called and let's end this line and i'm going to copy this c out statement and paste it here in this operator function and uh, I'm just gonna say operator function is called okay I'm gonna comment this line just to demonstrate you that you know the constructor will be called here so I'm gonna build and run this 
right now you guys can see constructor is called and uh, here I got 85 marks that's from the method what's your mark all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna uncomment this line so here in this line the C++ is gonna call the operator function you know this function and it's gonna pass this 44 as a parameter to this operator function and that 44 will be stored in this mark and when we call our what's your mark method for the second time in our program you know we'll get the marks as 44 so now just to demonstrate that I'm gonna build and run this now you guys can see when we create an object the constructor is called and it says hey I got 85 marks that's from this call to the method what's your mark and then we have called this overloaded function call operator and we have passed 44 to it and it just changed the value of our marks and that's why when we call this what's your mark method in a second time it says hey I got 44 marks alright guys this is how you guys can overload the special function call operator in C++. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.